Welcome to another Kevin's English Schools English Learning video. Today we look at the seven common English mistakes EFL, ESL university students make and how to fix them. Learning English as a foreign language, EFL, or English as a second language, ESL, can be challenging, especially for university students who need to master academic English. Here are seven common mistakes these students often make, examples of these mistakes, and some tips on how to fix them. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment as my dog is staring and judging me. I never change my clothes in front of my dog because he always stares at me. Now, on to the English lesson. On incorrect verb tenses, using the wrong verb tense is a common issue. Students often mix up past, present, and future tenses, which can confuse the reader. Example, mistake. Yesterday, I go to the library. Correction, yesterday I went to the library. Solution. Practice verb conjugation regularly. Create timelines to visualize when actions occur and use language apps or grammar exercises focused on tense usage. Two, misuse of articles. Articles, A and the, are tricky for many EFL ESL students. They might omit articles or use them incorrectly, leading to awkward sentences. Example, mistake. I saw a movie last night. Correction, I saw a movie last night. Solution, learn the rules for article usage and practice with plenty of examples. Pay attention to the use of articles in English texts and mimic those patterns in your writing. Three, confusion between similar words, words like effect versus effect, or their verse, there can be confusing. Mixing these up can change the meaning of a sentence entirely. Example, mistake, the weather will affect our plans. Correction, the weather will affect our plans. Solution. Make flashcards for pairs of commonly confused words. Write sentences using each word correctly and review them regularly to reinforce the differences. Incorrect prepositions. Prepositions are another common trouble spot. Students might use the wrong preposition or omit them entirely, which can make sentences sound unnatural. Example, mistake. I will arrive to the office at 9 a.m. Correction, I will arrive at the office at 9 a.m. Solution, create a list of common prepositions and their uses. Practice with preposition exercises and pay attention to preposition usage in English media such as movies, books, and articles. Sentence structure errors can really trip you up. Run-on sentences and sentence fragments are frequent mistakes. These errors can make writing hard to follow and less effective. For example, consider the sentence, I went to the store, I bought milk. A better way to phrase this would be, I went to the store and I bought milk. The solution here is to learn to identify independent and dependent clauses. Practice combining and separating clauses correctly. And don't forget, tools like Grammarly can be a huge help in identifying and correcting sentence structure issues. Now, let's talk about pronunciation problems. 
While pronunciation doesn't directly affect written English, it's essential for overall language proficiency. Mispronunciation can lead to misunderstanding and lack of confidence. Here's a common mistake. Pronouncing thought as taught. To correct this, practice saying thought with a native speaker or use a pronunciation app. And remember, practicing with language partners or tutors using online resources like YouTube videos or pronunciation apps, and recording yourself speaking to compare it to native speakers can all improve your pronunciation skills. Moving on to translation errors. Thinking in their native language and translating directly into English can result in awkward or incorrect sentences. Take the example, I have hunger, which is translated directly from another language. The correct way to express this in English would be, I am hungry. To avoid these types of errors, try to think in English as much as possible. Engage in activities like reading, writing, and speaking in English to develop a more intuitive sense of the language. Avoid direct translation and instead focus on understanding and using English expressions and idioms. In conclusion, improving English skills takes time and practice, but by addressing these common mistakes, EFL ESL University students can significantly enhance their language proficiency. Consistent practice utilizing language resources and seeking feedback from native speakers are key strategies for overcoming these challenges. Keep practicing and don't get discouraged. Every mistake is an opportunity to learn and grow.